We're now going to remove our section from the Scots tap water. You'll notice now it's taken on a bluish hue um, uh, uh, and all of this, the nucleated uh, elements within the tissue uh, will actually now have been uh, stained. We're now going to rinse briefly in, in water and we're now ready for our next step which is our eosin stain which is our cytoplasmic stain so just to re remember emosoxylin is a nuclear stain our next stain will actually stain cytoplasm and other uh, such cellular components so we're now going to stain with eosin for two minutes uh, I'm just filling the container at this present moment ready to actually run onto the slide so and we will now stain for two minutes with the in. Next step remember with the in, if you actually use aqueous rinses uh, it will actually loot the stain so what we we're going to use is in fact an alcoholic stain which has got uh, only 5% uh, water within it and I'm going to have that ready uh, in here uh, at the end of the two minute period I will then drain off the slide and it will go into the, the, uh, the rinse we're now getting to that point I'm going to remove the lid I'm going to drain down the slide and then transfer across into the 95% alcohol rinse. Uh, I'm going to close the lid. I'm going to leave it there briefly. I'm now going to lift up the lid and we're going to give it slight agitation to actually clear off the excess and I think you can see there we've got uh, a slide which is now taken on the um, cytoplasmic as well as the nucleus stain. Our next step will actually be to process from not 70% because we're already in 95% alcohol our first step in the uh, dehydration process will be to transfer into our first 95% alcohol. And that we can do quite readily So on, we've taken it from the rinse into our first 95% alcohol and it's going to stay in there. Remember, at the same time, but these are critical times for two minutes. And so we now start the clock again. Okay, we can now transfer over to this second and final um, solution of absolute alcohol. So take both the lids off and then transfer across now. And we then have got a, just a final two minutes before we move into the final uh, solution which is in fact our clearing agent. Remember our clearing agent is there to actually remove any remaining water and any remaining alcohol present in the section so that we can then get to the final step which is the mounting of the section in the resinous mounting media. We're now at the point where we're going to transfer from the last um, absolute alcohol into the clearing agent. So we're now ready for that step and 
it's, the slide is going to spend at least 10 minutes in this final step before we mount the section. I'm now going to do a, a quick demonstration uh, using a plain blank slide of the next step in the procedure. I've actually already placed um, a glass cover slip onto the tile uh, and I'm now going to add two or three drops of resinous mounting media. I'm now ready to take the slide. Now what we'll, we will do in the final process, on this side of the slide, we shall actually have our tissue. And so it's literally a matter of inverting the tissue so, uh, so that the tissue is on the bottom of the slide and the um, surface um, that it's going to rest on is on the top. We now touch it briefly and we've now sealed in uh, our slide within the sandwich. Um, you'll notice at this particular point the um, resinous mounting media is now flowing over the uh, surface of the um, slide and producing um, a reasonable seal between both the slip, the tissue and the slide. I'm just going to leave this just for a few moments to actually complete that process. Okay, we're now ready for this final step. I'm going to add to the surface of the cover slip some resinous mounting media. Just carefully drop it on until we've got round about a spot two or three millimetres in diameter and then we're going to remove the lid and I am going to take the, the, the section out and immediately and we'll just later on I'm going to demonstrate uh, another slide that has actually been through the process but where you actually um, leave the section out to dry that is not what we need to do and we need to do it exactly like this and we are now ready to let the DPX flow across the slide and within a few minutes we, it will actually have completely covered the section.